Factor, my name is Mike and uh, another video from the Comic Con. Today I want to get you a short tour on what LEGO has on display in their glass displays. Like every year they're showing some upcoming sets and some things are already on the shelf. So we're going to go through left to right and show you what's up with their displays. Also there is a video about the entire features of the LEGO booth with Andrew from LEGO. So that's pretty awesome and I hope you guys enjoy. I'm going to leave a link below but for now let's see what LEGO has on this place. All right, so the wall is pretty wide. We're gonna start from the left, and this is where we have the Harry Potter stuff. Those sets are already available in the stores, the Night Bus, the Expecto Patronum, and the Hagrid's Hut. This one is already a last year's, uh, last season's set, the Quidditch match. We have the Clock Tower and the Horntail Challenge. This one is three user challenge. This one's actually just came out, so there it is. Uh, nothing new particularly. This is something coming in August, just about now. You, have, you guys have seen the sets being unveiled with official pictures. Now we can take an actual look on how these look like. This is the Ghost Train Express. I'm sure a lot of people are looking towards this one. Remember the hidden side is where you actually can put your phone on the sets and they come alive and uh, provide you with some extra features. So there is the train. It kind of looks cool with that mouth right there. I kind of like doing a review right here, but hey, looks pretty awesome. I like the station. Something new for everybody. There is a bunch of stickers and I guess fluorescent pieces on those wings. Higher up, we have the Paranormal Intercept Bus 3000. This one is actually reminds me of the Fortnite bus for some reason. But hey, it's going to have a lot of features as well. I think those like blue elements on there are triggers for the AR app that's going to be coming with the sets. And to the right, we have the Shrimp shack attack love the name i think that's gonna be a very popular set given the fact that it's kind of a eatery can fit in a lego city for sure and <laughs> that diner sticker with the shrimps are, is pretty awesome actually there we have the um kind of a zombie chef right there preparing some shrimps and a vehicle that looks kind of like something from ninja go for sure this one is awesome el fuego's stunt truck kind of reminds me of those like lego batman movie sets with the gator remember that one that's kind of like similar the truck looks nice. Um, there's a bunch of stuff in the back actually. And oh, one minute figure just collapsed. There you go, Lego should just attach them to the bottom. Then we have JB's Ghost Lab. I think this one is one of the smaller ones. You can see some minifigures resembling some sort of a scientist. There is the kind of like a dog's brown kind of thing going under. There. there you go. And also we have the wrecked shrimp boat. They have something about the shrimps nowadays. I don't know what it is, but it's something about shrimps. The white gator, check this one out, like excellent mold. And I don't think we have ever seen, come on focus, I don't think we have ever seen uh, a mold like this in this light color for the gator. So there's the ghost gator albino, or if you will. The boat looks pretty cute actually, look at that, I mean, very nice, very nice as I would say. There you go, there's a small thing and a monster face in the back, this one guys is just looking at you. And the big one that everybody's waiting for is the Newbury Haunted School. I'm not sure if you guys can hear me right now, but it's pretty loud in here. There you go. Um, this one, oh my god, it's like an Arkham Asylum meets a monster set, meets some sort of a creator expert set. There's fangs, all kinds of stuff. There's the mouth. My god, this looks cool. This actually reminds me of the Joker Land, maybe? The um, Jokerified Batman's Mansion. Remember that set? That was a really popular set. And it's kind of like coming back in this one, the eyes are just looking at you. This set will just sell like crazy and the price is not bad. It's gonna actually retail for $129.99. So that's pretty awesome. I think we can expect those guys in August and uh, I'm gonna maybe try to get this one. This one looks <laughs> just perfect as a display set, uh, only if I had space for it. There you go. Jurassic World is next. Some of these sets are already available. I think I've seen this one in the stores already. The one with the drone and the Dilophosaurus. But hey, we have new stuff. The newly colored T-Rex versus Dynamic Battle. This set is something to look out for. It's already being sold on Comic Con. You can buy this one in the store. I don't think I will yet, but hey, here it is. The Dynamic is something to behold for sure. One of the coolest uh, re <laughs> renditions of the dinosaur, and it's so 80s, so cartoony, so cool, so 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 cool. I love it. The Dynamic, uh, you get a bunch of minifigures with that and that t-rex is actually very well colored cool set i think it's gonna just stomp off the shelves pun intended there is the triceratops rampage the triceratops is getting a proper update after such a long time we finally get this guy uh there is the carrot as the bait and there is the uh, egg uh, i think hatchery of some sorts in that set but everybody's gonna just get it for the triceratops another minifigure collapse uh yeah there you go 
they're very cool very very cool and the last one here is baryonyx face off uh, also a newly colored dino look at this like color combination it's really cool there is the uh, it's pretty dark in this corner here but there is a small trailer with the jurassic world jeep and pretty much uh, we have a solid set for 60 bucks those are 60 bucks those are i think 20 and 90 bucks for the dynamic nothing new on the star wars display just the 20th anniversary sets at the top we have the flintstones and the steamboat willy so nothing new i wish they had the treehouse on display i'm still building that set i'm probably gonna finish today after the uh, comic con and then we have ninjago there is the um, castle of the Forsaken Emperor. This one is like collapsed um, name tag. Well, there you go. Um, look at that. The snow dragon. I think it also fell a bit. I uh, can't really see how it looks like, but there you go. We have a bunch of really cool minifigures. If I can maybe show you guys what these guys are at. There you look at that armor in white and the dual molded frost elements. Amazing. There you go. Okay, these guys have. It kind of reminds me of that. Um, the previous season, the, the Blades of Time season, remember that one? Those guys have had su super awesome metal um, armors and stuff. So this is kind of like a comeback of this quality molding. Love those minifigures. The Fortress looks pretty cool too. A lot of snow, a lot of frost. Then the, we've, we have the Land Bounty. The Land Bounty is a $130 set. Um, it's just the bounty with wheels. Yeah, you have a Destiny's Bounty of sorts in every Ninja Go wave and uh, i think jang already reviewed this one i saw the video but look at the new mods for the serpentine really cool come on focus there we go very nice i love that 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 cold and flame finish to that and the bounty looks actually pretty cool very beefy set uh, look at those wheels yeah there's a a tire in there so it's it gets the grip there is a cockpit just below the deck and overall i think that's the same sail that they use in the distance bounty from the ninja go movie but man, this set might be my favorite from this wave. Very cool. Okay, we got some spinners. Um, spinners are already in the store, so nothing new here. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Spinners, I'm not the biggest fan. And then there is the Shuri Copter. Actually, it looks pretty cool. Something like from the 80s cartoon. Uh, even Transformers or so. Ninjago is uh, really killing it with the shapes of those vehicles right now. It's the Zane's vehicle, by the way. And then we have Cole's Dirt Bike. And also Lloyd's Journey, one of the smaller sets with the three tail three tail fox look at that mold it's really amazing let me just let's see if i can focus on this one a bit more there we go uh, not not really focused but you guys get the idea what this mold is like very cool with the tips painted to look so much better and my favorite of this wave is the titan mac lloyd Tyson mac 80 bucks of a set look at that guy Totally, totally something Japanese, totally uh, Gua, uh, Gun Gundam, Gundam, yeah, Gundam. Totally something from the uh, mech lore. I mean, the sand, sand green and all this stuff, the gold, the white. This thing just looks epic. I mean, I mean, come on, it's so epic. Very cool. It's uh, this is gonna be probably a very popular mech to get from Ninjago line. And also we have the Fire Fang, which is a perfect set to be complementing the Titan mech together. They actually are on the shelf together and that's how they look like. This thing is just so cool. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, let's move on. The other display had the Marvel Hulk helicopter drop or something that's gonna come out in August. This is all the stuff that we already have in the Lego store, so nothing too special. Um, yeah, actually there is nothing new. Uh, Captain Marvel and the Quinjet. So there you go. And the last display shows the DC stuff. DC has received some of the new stuff for August. There is the new Batcave Clayface Invasion. There you go. It's a really, I always like this set for some reason. It's always a hundred dollar set, very popular. They really were flying off the shelves quite a bit. There's the new Clayface, kind of a rendition of that uh, Lego Batman movie Clayface. There is more, uh, the new Bat Tank in there. It's really dark in there, so I'm not sure you guys can see everything, but it's very similar to the last year's uh, set from the Lego Batman movie in that way. Also, we have some of the junior sets, the Batman vs. Riddler and the Joker Escape. So there you go. Also, this one is pretty neat. And what is this? The Batman Batwing and the Riddler Heist. Also a new Batwing, very simple set though, so it's nothing too complicated. And the last one I displayed is the Batmobile 
pursuit of the Joker. So a new 80s, uh, 89 movie looking Batmobile. I think uh, there is a bunch of mocks, including the one from Brick Vault about this vehicle. But now we have a set that a lot of people will like. Just like one of the most classic looking Batmobiles for sure. And I think we can actually buy it in Comic Con here. So there you go, it's gonna be coming out in August. On the, this side we have smaller displays and mostly exclusives that are given on Comic Con. The Mr. Freeze, the Bat Cycle, I think that's the one of the very few sets that's not displayed on the other side. And it's also coming soon, or maybe it's in the source. I gotta check that, it's a very small one. Here we have the Batman Comic Con exclusive. This one you had to sign up online and get a chance to buy it on the Lego booth. It was completely random raffle, just like the last year. So this one is actually pretty darn awesome. It gets the uh, perspective shot of the Gotham City with the Batman. I don't think the minifigures are exclusive though, but the packaging and the whole set for sure are. Up we have the Hulkbuster, uh, sorry, Hulk helicopter drop. It's the set that's coming soon, probably August. We have the Avengers outfit Hulk for the first time ever and the helicopter. It's actually solid build right here with the um, new uh, Iron Man suit. Look at that purple. I mean, this is going to be super popular just for the figs. And the price is right now set at $60. We also get some Chitauri, I think. And overall, it's a decent set for that minifigs and the helicopter. This is the Captain Marvel exclusive. This one actually has Captain Marvel, I think, is not exclusive. Fix me if I'm wrong. But there's another minifigure here that's not really shown in the display, which is weird. Oh, she's in the cockpit, actually. Uh, yeah, that's right there. And yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to get this one. This is Comic Con. There's the, the helicopter. At the top, we have these two new Star Wars sets. That is the Land Speeder and the uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi's Hut. Those are coming out summer in 2020 or maybe summer soon. And then we have the Sith Trooper bust. They're really pushing the Sith Trooper this year because that's the new type of Stormtrooper uh, in the Star Wars lore for the upcoming Rise of the Skywalker movie. So Lego has it and I think this one's going to be super popular for everything uh, Comic-Con this year. And there's uh, one more look at the Obi-Wan's hat and the Land Speeder. The hat will be a $30 set. And same goes for the Land Speeder, also $30 for this one. LEGO always has a store in Comic Con, we're gonna take a look what's up inside and what's the new stuff, alright? There's the Stranger Things set, as usual, a lot of these guys here. Look at the stacks of those boxes, everything should be upside down, haha, <laughs> pun intended. That's like hundreds of Stranger Things set right here. They're like all the way there, that's a lot of Stranger Things. I think we have the new Batman stuff, this is about to come out, for sure, this is like one of the newer sets. There's the small one here, yeah, this one I think I saw in the stores already. There is the Batmobile, there we go, so we can buy that. And that's the Junior's Asylum, the Batman and Joker Escape, there we go, so there is that too. The mini set. This one I think well, is like, pretty like cool. The there is also the big Batcave, the new one. There's a Batcave Clayface Invasion. I think there's a Batcave every year pretty much, so you can buy that. There's the Land Bounty from Ninja Go, the big one. I think it's about to come out. There's this one too, the Katana 4x4. Um, we got some more stuff. What's this? Yeah, that's the the Fang. Awesome. There is other Ninja Go stuff, the Shurikopter. Um, this one is the Cole's Dirt Bike. Nice. And this one's really cool. Lloyd's Titan Mech. I kind of want to get this one for myself. Don't you guys think? It's really cool though. And there's the Castle for the Forsaken Emperor. Nice. I think this one's one of the best looking Ninja Go castle sets to date, for me, in my opinion at least. I don't think there's anything new for Star Wars. We have the Droid Commander set. This one's already available in the Lego stores. We have the 20th anniversary stuff. That's not new. We also have the Tante 4 already came out. And the other sets from that. I think the Resistance Wave. There we go. And there's the castle from Vader. So yeah, I think there are only two sets from Star Wars that are coming soon, but not nothing yet. It's bigger than you. <laughs> As you guys know, the Jurassic World is expanding their line of sets. This one is the one I've been really waiting for. I'm not sure I'm gonna get this right now. This is the T-Rex versus Dynamite battle. One of the craziest sets from the Jurassic World to ever come out. I think it was really cool. Um, there's the one more shelf of this guy. I think this one is the Baryon Baryonyx Face of Treasure Hunt. Nice. All the new stuff. I think it's coming in shortly in August. There's the Triceratops Rampage. 
Triceratops Rampage and the big one that just came out, the Jurassic Gate. There you go. Harry Potter already is available in the LEGO stores. The Bug Beaks Rescue, we have the um, Expecta Patronum. Um, oh, I think this one is gonna be coming out soon. And this one's already uh, said that's available in LEGO stores. You guys are hilarious. I mean. <laughs> They really stuck on that Stranger Things. I mean, there's a panel at Comic Con about Stranger Things, so they expect this to sell out, and it will. It's just the first day, basically. Stranger Things, everything is Stranger Things, guys. Oh, look at that, there is the treehouse that's coming out later on. I think it's somewhere in August. 3,036 pieces, so the biggest set. Uh, I think they just passed their own limit of 3,000 pieces for ideas. It's 336 and you can expect a review of this one on uh, Beyond the Brick from me. I'm just building this set right now and just waiting for, uh, for the video to get there and be uploaded to Beyond the Brick. The Harley just came out today as of this recording. It's July 17th. You guys have seen the Beyond the Brick video. I'm gonna link it below if you haven't. There's also this new upcoming LEGO Movie 2 set, the World Mayhem Starfighter. This one is actually pretty cool. Uh, I think it's like the one from that battle scene. I think that's the only one they actually have right now at the um, LEGO Store Comic Con, but very, very fresh, guys. Some of the upcoming Minecraft sets include the Wolf Farm. <laughs> I like that ship build right there. Uh, this one here is the Blaze Bridge. Oh, uh, yeah. I think Minecraft is still keeping the fashion with like really cool environment themed sets. There is the one here, and the big one that's gonna be coming out quite soon is the creeper mine just uh, that's shaped just like a creeper there you go and this one's gonna be pretty expensive <laughs> need some help <laughs> I think I'm gonna help the guys from brick vault with their stack of <laughs> feels like old times do, do we need a dolly or something all right let's move it up okay oh you got okay Okay, wait, wait, wait. We need to have a line where I've already scanned it. Okay, those are good. So it looks like no, this no, no, looks no, great. Good. This looks absolutely This is too great. much. <laughs> Brick Vault is getting all this stuff, so I hope they do well. I don't know. Maybe like four or five. How big are they? How do you feel, Ramon? I feel great. It's, uh, it's cheap, actually. It's this, you know, like discount this is sale. This nothing. is nothing. Nothing. Make it up the next. You guys look like living. I don't know, coat hangers or something. <laughs> one, two, three, one, two, three. Right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this update of the LEGO booth at San Diego Comic Con. And we'll see you in the next videos. Don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, it helps me a lot. And the bell notifications are actually pretty awesome too. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye!